Taurus. Welcome to your May monthly reading. This is a collective reading, so it will not resonate with you all. If it doesn't resonate with you, I encourage you to check your sun, moon, and rising sign video on my channel as you may be sitting in that energy. Alternatively, you can also click the link in the description box below to my Instagram, Chelsea Therese, where I sell online readings all over the world through. Let's get into it, Taurus. The energy for May coming through for you is the Four of Cups. There is someone who's trying to be giving towards you. There is someone who is trying to be, um, yeah, they, they want to offer you something. You are too focused on work. <laughs> There's a lot of fun things being around, but you're like, I'm really focused on building my wealth right now. I'm really focused on trying to get money. I have a lot of high standards. I've got a lot of passion. Um, that's what you're focusing on. Yeah. You are feeling disconnected from the world at the moment because you feel like, yeah, you're just tunnel visioning work and tunnel visioning getting through things. Coming through th for the middle of May, we have the Hermit Energy. So you may be dealing with a Virgo. Um, but you are going into your inner self and you are going to be listening to your intuition a lot louder. You're absorbing what your intuition is truly saying because you've got to a point of exhaustion and fatigue and you're questioning motivations. You're questioning motivations because um, you're just exhausted and... You're going home to yourself, Taurus, to figure this out. You're going inside and you're using all the knowledge that you've learnt through life. You're going inside and going, okay, is this where I want to be? Is this who I want to be around? Is this all that sort of, um, which is a really nice energy. Um, through the end of May, yet yeah, there is judgment. There is a huge reflection and awakening. Um... I feel like you're going to have the universe is stepping in and there's going to be something really big revealed to you. And this immediately is going to make you feel really um, jealous and insecure. And it's because someone you're dealing with is very selfish at the... Uh, and it's going to be revealed how selfish this person truly is. So just, just buckle in. And if it is you, Taurus, people may be seeing you as selfish because you're trying to build somewhere. But make sure you are still, you know, exchanging energy healthily through this universe because we are a flowing planet. The hidden energy for you is that there is a masculine who is giving you bad advice. This person is really, really cold and moody. And it's the person you were refusing to take love off at the beginning. Remember I said that you are stubborn at the start with this card? It's the same card. So in your hidden energy, there is, um, yeah, there's someone you're refusing. You're refusing to um, take love off. And they're giving you bad advice. They're very cold. They're very moody. And they're a man. Or they're just very much strongly in their masculine energy. Okay. The advice for you, Taurus, is drop the fucking ego. Vulnerability is hot as fuck. You are giving away your power. You are a badass. Act like it. It's not everyone else's fault. It's yours. You're a grown-ass adult. Stop blaming others for your shit. Lightning bolt. Figure shit out on your own. You are loved. You are here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. Now what somebody is thinking about Taurus through the month of May, somebody who's heavily energetically connected to you, could be a friend, a family member, a lover or an ex-lover, but what they are thinking is, I love you unconditionally. I remember every detail of that day. Finding out the truth crushed me. I wish I could share my good news with you. I want to feel that way again. I love you unconditionally. I remember every detail of that day. Finding out the truth crushed me. 
I wish I could share my good news with you. I want to feel that way again. And then on the end here, Taurus, we have your love life and romance energy. And what's coming through for the month of May for you is passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. And calling in your soulmate, your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. Okay, Taurus, please like and subscribe as it really helps my channel. If you did want a personal reading, make sure you go to the link in the description box below. I'm sending you so much love and light. Enjoy the month of May.